Are you, viewer, looking for an amazing Minecraft loot crate plugin with lots of customization and very, very cool animations? Then look no further. As in today's video, I'm gonna show you Phoenix Crates, one of the coolest loot crate plugins I've ever seen. Now, the creator of Phoenix Crates actually reached out to me asking if I could check out this plugin. I did, and I found it amazing, which is why I'm making this video. Though, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also, check if you're subscribed to the channel most people who do watch my videos are actually not subscribed even though it just takes a single click two clicks if you also want to enable notifications and then without any further ado let's uh, dive right into this If you want to purchase this plugin for yourself, you can do that from the Phoenix Plugins website. Of course, I've linked the website in the description of this video. And if after this video you actually want to purchase the plugin, make sure to use code CASI20 for a 20% off your purchase. Now, after downloading the plugin, dragging it into your plugins folder and restarting your Minecraft server, you will be able to set Phoenix crates up. So the first thing we're gonna do is just type slash crates. This will give you all the important commands that come with this plugin. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually go inside of the crate editor. We can do that by typing slash crates editor. Just like that, press enter and there we go. We're now inside the Phoenix crates editor. So here we can edit the crates. We can edit some general settings and we can also reload the config. All very handy. Now if you click on edit crates, you can see that by default you already have four example crates here. I would say let's check one out before actually creating our own. So so let's go to example one and then in example one we're gonna click on edit rewards so this is the reward you can get from this crate like you can see there's only a single reward here of course we can add multiple rewards here with all their own value so that one is more rare than the other now i want to try out this crate so let's just go here let's type slash crates and then a gif a crate and then the crate i want is example one there we go we got a crate Ooh, and like you can see the animations immediately start now all of these animations can be completely customized which is really really cool but now i actually want to open this crate but i can't because we need a crate key now to get a key we can type slash a crates a gif key then the key i want is the key for example one and I want to give it to Kasasora, and I only want a single one. So this is the command create give key example one or whatever your crate is called. Then the name of the player or all. So you can also type all here which will give every single player on the server a crate key. And then last, you can type the amount. In my case, one. There we go. We now got an example one crate key. Now, if we left click on this crate, we will actually get a preview. So these are all the rewards you can get from this crate. Like we already saw, there's only a single diamond pickaxe here. So we have a 100% of getting it. Okay, cool. I want a diamond pickaxe. So let's open it up. There we go. We will play a very nice animation. Oh, and there it is. Example pickaxe. Look at it. And there it shuts again. Very cool. Very nice animation. And we now got ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Now, like I said earlier, we can easily edit these animations. So let's just do crates editor again. Editor like that. Then we're going to the edit crates and then example one. Over here, you got the option edit idle animation or edit opening animation. So let's go to the opening animation. And this is the one we got right now, the key opener. We can also change it to ball. So let's click on ball and then we can open it again, but this time with another animation. Look at that. That's cool. And of course, we got ourselves another diamond pickaxe. And then let's click on compact. Let's see what compact looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Nice. I love the effort they put into these animations. It is so cool. Now let's go to the animation called fire. And let's see what happens when we open it. Ooh, that's nice. And a little bit creepy. There it is. Our beautiful diamond pickaxe. Now last but not least, we got default. There we go. 
that's just the default one. I mean, there needs to be a default option. If you don't like all the animations, for some reason, you can do this. Now, you can also change the idle animations. So, the animations you see right now. They are also completely customizable. So, by going back to the editor, then to edit crates, example one, and then idle animations, you will see all the current animation effects over here. Now, we can add another one. So, we can just press on add, and then we need to choose an effect type. So, let's go to flower now let's go to let's go to diamond then particle type right now it is on flame we can change it to whatever we want so block marker i don't know what all of these are let's do dragon breath that sounds great okay then what is the color we're gonna change the color to i would say blue violet then we can also change the spread let's just put it on five then the particle velocity i'm just gonna put this to one see how it looks the amount uh, let's put it to three and then the offset i think i'm just gonna leave it default so let's press on save and there we go look at that so this is the animation we just created like you can see i made it pretty big i made it way too big okay that's great to know because literally from here you can already see the animation what now if for some reason you think this is too big then you can of course edit it again so easily go to the edit crates again example one idle animations and then just click and then we can put the spread back to just one or maybe zero even there we go still seems like way too much let's just put this one to zero as well oh that looks better okay so this this is what we created that's pretty cool the amount let's add two there we go that's pretty nice actually so like you can see there's lots of customization lots of stuff you can do with it i can't possibly show it all inside of this video there's like so much possible but if you actually decide to purchase this plugin i would suggest just freaking around with all of these settings for a while until you got something you really really like now having checked out all the animations let's go and create a crate ourselves so i'm just going to the create editor again because i think it's the easiest create editor then to edit crates and then we're gonna add a new crate so just click on add crate there we go so first we need to change the identifier in other words the name so let's click on it and let's name it test there we go the display name is also test so that's nice then open cooldown so after players open this crate how long do they need to wait until they can open another crate now we can add a cooldown by just typing five for example so now the cooldown is zero five seconds that's not a lot but you can make it way higher if you want to then we got the open money cost so it kind of already explains it change the money necessary to open this crate now for this to be able to work you will need the plugin vault in installed on your minecraft server now if you're running any type of plugin server then you probably already have fault installed though if you don't there will be a link in the description of this video where you can download fault from so you can put it on and actually edit this setting then permission required should players have a permission to open this crate in this case no but let's say you want to make a vip crate a crate that only vip players can open then you could put this to yes just like that and then you will have to give this permission so phoenix crates dot crate dot test to the vip group and by doing that only the vip players will be able to open this test crate which is pretty nice then we got the edit rewards of course the most important part so let's add some rewards let's click on add rewards and we can actually drag an item over here so let's go out of it and let's grab ourselves a block of grass then we're going back to the editor edit crates then to the test crate rewards add rewards and then we're gonna drag a grass block in there nice now that our grass block is in let's go and add an identifier now we don't really have to do that as it already automatically creates an identifier but if we want to change it we can call it a grass for example there we go and the display name of the grass block is grass block we can also change this to epic grass there we go then we got their percentage 
So if a player opens a crate, how rare is this reward? 100% means that 100% of the time they get this grass block. Though if we put it to 50 and we have another item that we also put to 50, then they both have a 50% chance of appearing. If we put this grass block to, for example, 20, then we only have a 20% chance of getting this grass block. So in my case, this grass block is gonna be pretty rare. Then is virtual, whether or not the player receives the physical item well of course we want them to have a grass block so just leave it on o then commands click to manage the commands so we can also add commands here when players get this reward so besides only getting the grass block we can also add another command here just click on add commands so let's do let's do something crazy give percent player percent and then diamonds five there we go. So now players also get five diamonds when they get this reward. Nice, I like that. Then broadcast, whether or not a broadcast message should appear when a player wins this reward. So the most rare rewards of a chest, of course you want them to be broadcasted because that's just cool. In this case, grass block, very rare. So I want to broadcast it. And then the win limit speaks for itself. If you only want this grass block to be able to be won 10 times, then you can set it so i'm gonna leave it on infinite though so let's click on save and there we go first reward has been added now i'm gonna add a second one real quick uh first we have to look for something uh normal grass that's not rare normal grass is just stupid go back to the editor test and then rewards add rewards put the grass in the identifiers grass with three s's yes and then the percentage will be i'm gonna just put it to 80 to make it nice and even virtual no commands no broadcast no that doesn't need to be broadcasted win limits nah also not safe there we go so now let's get it crates give crates and then test put it down like you can see it has the default animations but you can change it however you want just like that one over there then we're gonna give a key also for test kasai sora and then i want like five keys and let's see what we're gonna get Ooh, we got the grass block as well as five diamonds. So if we left click here, you can actually see grass block has 20% chance and grass has 80% chance. You can make a very sneaky crate like this. A crate that says you're gonna get grass, but actually gives you five diamonds as soon as you get the grass. Okay, let's use another key. Let's try it again. There we go. What are we gonna get this time? Normal grass. Yes. We got it, look at that. Oh, what a great chest this is. Now the opening animation, we're gonna put it to fire. The idle animation, we can also edit these. So if I want the smoke around the chest to be another color, for example, then we can totally do that. I could just click on here and edit it. I will change it to campfire signal smoke. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. That's also pretty cool and you can clearly see it's a star now these animations are so freaking great and i know there are many crate plugins out there but just all the animations all the cool stuff you can do with phoenix crates is just amazing i was really blown away with all this plugin can do and i think they did a really great job of creating this plugin now one more thing i actually thought was important to note how do your players actually get crates and crate keys only administrators and players who have the right permissions can actually place crates meaning that probably all your crates will be in some kind of central point for example a lobby or spawn now crate keys the only way to get them is through a command now it's actually really really nice that the only way to get a crate key is through a command because that way you can integrate them with pretty much every single plugin you want so just to give an example in the Soracraft smp server we have quests i could make it so that upon clearing a quest you would actually receive a crate key you can of course also make it so that players can just purchase it from a shop pretty much everything is possible as soon as you got another plugin that can actually execute a command upon a player achieving something for example buying something or clearing a quest then you can make it so that the player actually receives a crate key so that's how you distribute your crates and crate keys anyways that's gonna be it for now i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a like 
like. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel as most people who watch my videos are actually not. If you want to purchase Phoenix Craze for yourself, a link will of course be in the description of this video. It will lead you straight to their website where you can purchase it from. And don't forget to use code CASTI20 for a 20% off your purchase. And then, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.